Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the different types of directives that are available in the Angular 18. So directives are nothing but the classes that add the additional behavior to elements in your Angular application. So this is the basic definition of this one. So directives are the classes that add additional behavior to elements in your Angular application. Here elements means nothing but the HTML elements. So now why we use this Angular, uh, what I want to tell you is, so why we use this one, use Angular's built-in directives to manage the forms, lists, styles, and also the what user sees. So there are different types where we have a built-in directives. So the different types of Angular directives are, first one is the components. So as we have already learned about this one, components. Components are also used with the template. This is the type of directive, it is the most common directive type. And another one is the attribute directive, so which we will try to learn it now. And the last one is the structural directive. Okay, so these are the different types of directives which we will be having. Structural directive. Okay, so attribute directives means it will change the appearance or behavior of an element, component, or another directive. Structural directive means it will change the DOM layout by adding or removing the DOM element. So this one directly removes or adds the DOM element into the template. Or here the attribute directive means it will change the behavior. What I want to do is to change the appearance or the behavior of the template. So these are the different types which we will be having. So now, <clears throat> so let's try to see some of the common built-in attribute directives which are available for us. So I will try to open the notepad instead of this one. So notepad plus plus notepad, yeah, anything. So first of all, built-in direct attribute directives. So you know about the components. So first we need to know the about the built-in directives. So the built-in uh, the attribute directives listen to and modify the behavior of other HTML elements, attributes, properties, and the components. The most common attribute directives in Angular is nothing but we know already we have discussed about this one ng class, ng style, and the last one is the ng model. So these are the three built-in directives which we will be trying to use it. Ng class means adds or removes the set of CSS classes. Ng style means adds and removes a set of HTML styles ng model means it will add a two way binding to an html form element so that is one thing so ng class so if you are having a single class or something like that means then we can use the class dot like that we can use it so without any problem so these are the different types of attribute uh, attribute directives which we will be having so why we use this ng class means to uh, add the dynamically the classes so now the another one which i want to explain you is the structural directive okay so there are some built-in structural directives which are available. So normally the structural directives are responsible for the HTML layout. They shape or reshape the DOM structure typically by adding, removing and manipulating the host elements to which they are attached. So this is one thing which you need to understand. So that means structural, whereas the attribute directives means it will change only the attributes or something like that it will change. Directly it will not remove or add the DOM element. Whereas the structural directive means these are responsible for the HTML layout. So they shape, they reshape the DOM structure. That means the elements they will reshape it. Typically, what they will do is they will add, remove, or manipulate the elements to which they are attached. So these are called as a normally host elements. So the most common built-in structural directives are so you people already know ng if, ng for, and the last one is ng switch. So these are the structural directives which we will be using. So already we also know about the different types of uh, control flow which we have uh, got it. In the, in the new version of the Angular. So ng if means conditionally creates and disposes of the subviews from the template. ng for means repeat in elements for each item in a list. And the ng switch means a set of directives that switch among the alternative views. So this is this one, this is these are the two things. So now first one is ng if means it will add or remove an element by applying an ng if directive to a host element. When ng if is set to false means Angular removes that element and it's descendant from its DOM. Angular then dispose of their components which frees up memories and resources. So that is one thing. And <clears throat> this is all about the about the different types of ng if and ng for also you people know about this one. ng for means what it will try to do. So it will present it will do it will loop over the list of all the items. So this is all about the different types of uh, what I want to tell you is. At, uh, attribute direct built-in uh, structural directives and also the built-in attribute directives so hosting a directive without a dom element means for example let's say that if you are having a dom if you are not having a dom element 
and you want to add a directive to that one means so we need to use ng container so this ng container so will not be presented in the dom so the angular's ng container is a grouping element that does not interfere with the style or layout because angular doesn't put in the dom so use ng container when there is no single element to host the directive so that is one thing so let's say that uh, uh, something like for example let's say that you want to apply some data so here i will try to show you so here so here you want to apply some condition to some part of the text in the paragraph means then you can use this ng container like this so that means this part of the text is conditionally rendered and this tag will not be rendered in the dom so that is one thing so this is one thing which you need to understand so now the last one is the ng switch also you know about this ng switch so in this one we will be having something like ng switch ng switch case ng switch default so these are all the directives only okay so these are the different types of uh, what i want to tell you is the uh, what i want to tell you is build uh, directives that are available in the angular 18 not, not in angular 18 so uh, yeah, previous versions also is available so in the next video what we will try to learn is we will try to learn how we can create a custom attribute directive so that is what that is much more important right so the custom attribute directive how we can create a custom attribute building an attribute directive we will try to see it in the next video so these are the different ways of what i can say is uh, built in that are available in the angular the directives so first one is the components which you already know these are the one type of directives and the attribute directives so built in attribute directives are nothing but ng class ng style and also in and also the ng model and we have a structural directives which will remove or add the dom element from the angular template and the built in structural directives that are available is ng if ng for and also the ng switch case ng switch so we also have an ng container so which is also one of the important thing so when you want a dom when you want an element to be added condition to or to add the directive to an element but that element should not be projected in the browser render means so then we will be using this ng container that's it guys about these built-in directives that are available in the Angular. I will, in the next video, we will try to see how we can build a custom attribute directive in our Angular. So hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.